To size a vlog, you can either use the pond's volume or the surface area of the pond. I aim for the bog size being anywhere from 10 to 25%. For small ponds like my patio wine barrel, I use a volume measurement. This is because I know the wine barrel holds approximately 100 litres, so I used a 20 litre container to create the bog. This is my small fish pond. It's a rectangle with a constant depth, so calculating the volume was easy. It holds about 1200 litres, so I used a container that held 120 litres to create the bog. On larger ponds, it's harder to, to calculate the volume, so it's just easier to use surface area. We're still aiming for between 10 and 25% of the volume or, or the area of the pond becoming the bog. On these larger ponds, uh, it's easier to just create the bog separate to the pond and use a stream to connect the two together. So you have the pump on one side and flow the water to the bog and it returns via the stream back to the pond. So obviously the aim of the bog is to filter the water. To be most effective the water velocity needs to slow down and pass through the gravel and rocks. The plants do provide some of the filtering but only about 20%. It's the bacteria growing on the rocks and the gravel that do the majority of the work. So on the smaller systems, like my patio pond, um, even my budget fish pond that I did a video on, um, I used container bog filters. So here I've got a solid pipe that comes into one with a perforated edge. Down here I have a chamber, again to collect solids. All these little perforations let the water come out and flow up through the gravel. Uh, in these I've never done different sizes um, unless it's really deep. Then I've put larger rocks and then smaller ones. Otherwise I've just gone, I don't know, 20 cent coin size, even smaller. Anyway, the water comes up, gets purified, flows out. Uh, to clean these, I always just put like a bulkhead fitting down the bottom here um, on the piece of pipe that comes through a little valve so I can open and shut that. Because this is always full, if I open that valve the water level drops and pushes all these solids out through the clean out valve and that's been really easy, very simple to clean. Uh, if the need arises um, and really easy to build. So this is how to design a good bog filter where the water flows up through the system. This is best for your larger ponds. So here we have the water comes in and this is a perforated pipe down along here. So it's got little grooves or slots that let the water out. It rises up. Through here we have like a void space. This allows the solids to fall and just creates an area where it's not going to get stuck, like debris is not going to get stuck. It also makes it easier to clean out. On top of this, you've got large rock, then you've got medium rock, then you've got small rock. Now the depth on each of these rocks is about 20 centimetres of big rock, 20 centimetres medium rock, 20 centimetres small rock, and then your plants go up here in the small rock. This pipe over here is solid. This pipe comes in, you tee it up, 
this allows you to clean it out so you can put a sump pump down here and then discharge that water wherever you want to the garden. Uh, you can put a little cap on there so it's disguised because um, you only need it this when you're going to clean it out. So that's just an access point for that sump pump to go down into. So when it comes to cleaning, if you have to, you can flush out all this gravel and all the sediment will fall down into this pipe, come down into this chamber and you can pump it out and remove it. Uh, so that's the best design that I've seen for um, a large bog filter. Uh, in the next couple of weeks I'll create a video um, talking about the sort of flow rates that you want to get through your bog filter. Uh, if you're interested I do have some videos showing how I've created some of the bog filters on my ponds so you can feel free to check those out. And I hope this has been helpful and not too confusing. Um, if you found it helpful, please subscribe and I'll keep making videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.